Thank you very much, Phil. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Georgia Cyber Center. It's so good to have everybody here uh, today using this facility uh, for the exact reason that we are wanting this facility to be used. We appreciate that very much. Our mission here is to modernize cybersecurity technology through education, through research, through training, uh, and that is what's taking place right here. So this is part of our mission. We appreciate you coming here today using our facility, and I hope that uh, everything's going to continue to go smooth for you. Uh, how did this all take place? Well, this was basically training and innovation drove this project right here. That is what drove the project. Uh, we had $100 million that was given to us from the state uh, to work on this project, and that is where this building came from, and building two next to us uh, that will be complete on December the 18th. That will, be, that will be complete. So we have no debt. We have no bond. Mortgage free. And we are working uh, to basically everything that comes in from we would like to call our resident partners that lease the space from us goes directly back into this building, goes directly back into building number two, goes directly back into the AV equipment to make sure it stays fresh, technology stays fresh. So that is very important to us uh, with this mission. This concept was written on a napkin in a restaurant uh, and 17 months later, the building was complete. It took 386 days to build this building, and we are moving on to, to, to have projects like this. So let me tell you about who's actually in the building and why that is very important for us. We have, when we did our research on what we should do with this building, uh, we were told time and time and time again, you have to have academia in the building. You also have to have government in the building. You also have to have industry in the building. And not only do they need to be in the building, they all have to work together. So part of my job with outreach and engagement is making sure that all of our resident partners are working together. If we get them all in the building and they stay in their offices and they don't come out and we don't collaborate with one another, we've failed. When you have Building 2 being built, my job gets even harder because now I'm having to make sure both buildings are collaborating. So a lot of thought has gone into this. As you walk through the buildings, I want you to recognize that the dark walls lead to lighter walls. The lighter walls is where you will find social hubs. You'll find microwaves. You'll find refrigerators. You'll find coffee makers, all that do not exist in offices. We have to get them out of the offices, going to the center, socializing together. When I go make a copy, I don't have a copier in my office. I don't have a printer in my office. I have to go to where the darker walls lead to the lighter walls, to the social hub. So when I'm picking up uh, something that I printed at the copying machine, I run into somebody from GBI, Georgia Bureau of Investigation. If I go to, the, to grab my lunch out of the refrigerator, I run into someone from Clubhouse, which is an incubator, which is, helps with uh, startup companies, with entrepreneurs, uh, students. I run into students because they're in these areas. So that's how we're working to collaborate with one another. So we do have uh, those, those uh, resident partners within this building. Currently, who is in here? Augusta University, which you have a university system in here. You have Augusta Technical College, which you have a technical college in here, which is so cool because they're here together under one roof. And we had a joint orientation right here in this auditorium with the governor streamed live welcoming the first class into this building, which is super excited, exciting. We have the Georgia Bureau of Investigation in here. People say, well, why in the world do you have them in here? Because they have a cyber crime unit. They moved a group from Atlanta, Georgia to come here to help with that. If they have issues that they don't, may not understand or see something new on a phone, if they see something new on an app, what better place to go than to talk to some of our students that may be very familiar with that, that may have the latest information with that? What better place to go than to the clubhouse and talk to them about the innovation that they're working on and see how they can collaborate together? What better place 
for a student to intern with, with the GBI in the building, or with Parsons in the building. Parsons is one of our, is our, actually our first resident partner in the industry side of our, um, of our uh, equation. So you also have, like I mentioned, Clubhouse. You have a branch of the Department of Defense that just signed a lease with us in here. Uh, you also have the University System of Georgia. And then you have Bono Cafe. So we have our coffee shop here. Are we going to put a Bono Cafe in the other building? No. They're going to walk from there over to here so we can collaborate. Uh, do we have a gym over here? No. We're going to put a gym over there. So you have to walk from this building over there and meet people. So that's kind of how the collaboration's coming together. And I hope you can see how the GBI Cybercrime Unit can work with the clubhouse members. Uh, we have a cloud. Everything was strategically named for our tech groups that they un understand. We named the top the cloud. That's where y'all will be able to take advantage of it if you want to. I'm going to try my best not to head into your, your break. I've got one minute. Uh, I knew that was going to be hard. So uh, I, I want y'all to enjoy the cloud, which is the, the roof. So only one elevator takes you there, and if you're looking at the elevators, it's the elevator all the way to the left, and it has a sign mark there. I don't encourage everybody rushing up there at one time, because we will have members of the GB out there enjoying their lunch. That's what that is for. It's for our resident partners to enjoy. So, uh, but please, uh, make yourself at home. Go up there. You're going to see a beautiful view of the Savannah River. You're going to see North Augusta across the water. You're going to see the $40 million SRP park on your left. Uh, it's just going to be a great view, and that's just for our resident partners to enjoy, but also for y'all to enjoy today. Feel free to spread out on the second floor like you've done eating your breakfast. Feel free to come down here and spread out in the lobby today while you're eating your lunch. I will say that the virtual world, which is the very far room all the way to the end of this building, we can't utilize that until after 12. But after 12, feel free to go in there and utilize that, that uh, room as well. So I hope that uh, I've given you a little bit of uh, vision of what's in the building, how we all work together, how this is making uh, everything, uh, everything's coming together. I mean, even this river walk out here, both buildings connect to the river walk area that was extended from the Mar They've been trying to extend that from the Morris building to the 15th Street Bridge forever. It's done now. Uh, so it's, it's beautiful. $880,000 was spent by the city to do that. The parking deck that will be done November 1st uh, will, is $14 million uh, that the city paid for that to be done. I say all that to say we were able to utilize that $100 million to put into this building so that we can achieve our mission. Why are we in Augusta, Georgia? Why in the world did they choose Augusta, Georgia? Because we have some of the smartest, brightest people here at Fort Gordon uh, to work with. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Army Command, Army Cyber Command coming here, okay, the headquarters. We have so many people that we can partner with in the Augusta area. But this mission is a statewide mission. This is not an Augusta thing. We are here for the state. We are here for the nation. So it's a very unique building that has government, industry, academia. We have students walking around. Today's a slow day because it's a Friday. Uh, they, they plan their schedules just like I did when I was in school. Light on Friday. So, uh, but, but, but you'll see students walking through the building. You have a cyber range that's going to be put into this building. You have secure space that's going to be put in this building. So it's a very, very unique building. And I hope that I've given you a little bit of better understanding of, of what you can expect here. I've gone over three minutes, but I would love to talk to you later on. If you, if uh, y'all are just roaming around, you see me, please feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Are there, yeah, a question that you may have? Oh, yes, yes, sir. 
<laughs> no, 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 there is not. But that is, uh, that is, <laughs> but that is stuff that we will do. I mean, that we, we open, we open it up for events like that. Absolutely. So I have one. Question. Yes. Uh, I've been asked this uh, this morning, and I've answered it a couple of times. Maybe you can too. Mm -hmm. People want to know: Is this an Augusta University building, or who runs the building? Oh, okay. Good Just question. No, that's. Okay. Yeah, the Georgia Technical Authority uh, is, is the ones that uh, basically, that is who we've turned this over to. Uh, we are responsible, and when I say we, Augusta University, we, we help the operations here, uh, but it's, it's under the Georgia Technical Authority. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, sir, one, one more? Yeah. Okay. The cyber range will be available for uh, those that aren't in this building, yes. So it will be available for, oh, are you talking about virtually, like outside of the, uh, yes, I, I believe we are going to be able to hook that up. I would have to defer that question uh, to Sarah Reese, but I will get you an answer and I'll, I'll, I'll go through Phil on that. Yes, sir. And, oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity.